The year 2022 marks the 175th anniversary of the birth of Alexander Graham Bell. One of the most prolific and successful inventors of his era. The telephone, the invention for which Alexander Graham Bell is best known, fundamentally transformed human communication and continues to have an enduring impact on our world. From the grounds of his estate on the shores of Brudor Lake near the town of Bedeck in Cape Breton, Nova Scotia, emerged some fabulous machines that dazzled people in Canada and around the world. In 1909, the elegant Silver Dart took to the skies of Cape Breton to become the airplane that made Canada's first powered flight. And in 1919, the HD4 hydrofoil sliced through the waters of Bredore Lake, setting a new world record for marine speed. Replicas of these incredible machines are on display at the Alexander Graham Bell National Historic Site in Bedeck. Everyone knows about the telephone, of course, but here at Alexander Graham Bell National Historic Site, we talk about the lesser known inventions. That includes the silver dart, which is behind me, of course. It was the first airplane in Canada, the first controlled powered flight in Canada as well. We also have the hydrofoil boat, which is the fastest boat in the world. We have the graphophone, the photophone, his work with sound. The vacuum jacket was an artificial respirator that the iron lung would be based off of. We have his solar stills and his work with sonar, underwater hearing, and so many other things uh, from the audiometer uh, to just toys that he made for his grandchildren that are still used today. Alexander Graham Bell had a laboratory set up here in Bedeck, Nova Scotia, and he hired people from the community to help him experiment with many different topics. At the Alexander Graham Bell National Historic Site, we commemorate the life and legacy of Alexander Graham Bell and his wife, Mabel Hubbard Bell. Together, they changed the way that we live here in Canada, as well as the scientific world. Bell left behind an incredible trove of written documents and notebooks of all his thoughts, all of his experiments. And we can see from these notebooks that he had a, a genuine and rare intellectual curiosity that kept him striving and um, researching and creating. It, it was a basic need for him. And as my father, his grandson, told me, Bell could no more stop inventing than stop breathing. It was a lifelong passion that he had. Alexander Graham Bell's legacy today is still relevant through his many inventions, many of which we take for granted. All these had an impact on people's lives, and I think that's what a legacy is, is how someone impacts other people's lives in a positive way. Personally, several years ago, I started the Alexander and Mabel Bell Legacy Foundation to preserve and protect and advance his legacy, to keep the candle lit, to keep him relevant in today's world. As a great-granddaughter of Alexander Graham Bell, I feel very honored that the Canadian Mint has chosen to commemorate Alexander Graham Bell for his legacy and his inventions. The Mint is committed to issuing coins that celebrate Canadian accomplishment. There are many tales of success and achievements to be told on a coin commemorating the legacy of Alexander Graham Bell and all those who worked with him. To help Canadians from coast to coast to coast experience Alexander Graham Bell's incredible story of innovation, the Mint has created a 3D virtual museum experience that can be explored at rcmintverse.ca.